Namaste and a very good morning dear children. I hope you are all set for your English class today and are also hail and hearty at home. Mama, Mama. Ayan, please let me do my work. I have to finish my work. There was somebody at the gate. So there was, na. Now that person has gone. Just leave it. Let me do my work. No, Mama. There is somebody at the gate. Okay, there is somebody at the gate. Yeah. Okay, you go. I'm coming. Okay. Okay, children. Before I go and see who's at the gate, you must have realized how important it is for us to use is, am, are, was, have, had words correctly in a sentence. Otherwise, as you saw, it creates a lot of confusion. And with this, I come to the topic of our day, and that is helping verbs. Now you see what helping verbs are, and I'll go and see who's at the gate. Now children, before we begin with helping verbs, we'll talk about what verbs are. As you have already read, verbs are action words. Action words, they express physical action such as jump, laugh, dance, talk, eat or mental action like think, drain or love. You know children, the word verb has been taken from the Latin word. Now you must be thinking, ma'am, what is Latin? Latin is a language like English. Now where was I? The word verb has been taken from the Latin word verbum. And it, it is done so why? Because it is the most important word in a sentence. So children, it becomes very important that the verbs that we use in a sentence are absolutely correct. Otherwise, what will happen? Our entire sentence will be wrong. And for that matter, if we are speaking also, the other person will not understand what we are trying to speak or what we are trying to say. Now let's move further. Now your verbs are of two types. The first one is the main verb. Main verb which talks about the action. Now this action can be physical also. It can be mental also. For example, physical action like I, the girl danced beautifully on the stage. Now here what action did the girl do? Dance. I ate my food at 8 in the morning. What is the action here? Eight. Now these are your main verbs. Or for example, let's take one for a fem uh, for a for mental action. Like I love eating mangoes in the summer. Now here there are two verbs, right? You must be saying, ma'am, eating is also there. But which is the main action word here? Main. I love eating mangoes. So here your main action, the mental action or the main word that you're using is love. So here your verb, main verb is love. Understood? Now let's see which is the second verb. The second verbs are the helping verbs. Why are they called helping verbs? Because they are attached sometimes to the main verb or they help in forming a correct sentence. Now these words are your small words that you use like is, am, are, was, were, has, have, had, will. These are all your helping verbs. Why are they called helping verbs? Because they either help the verb or they help us, they help us to form a correct sentence. I hope the two types of verbs are clear to everyone. Now let's move further. Now as I ex explained again, it is written downstairs also. Kindly note, main verbs, your main verbs like dance, talk, eat, they will show the action. While your helping verbs will help to form a correct sentence. Okay, how help to form a correct sentence? Like you saw in the skit earlier, Ayan was speaking the wrong helping verb. He kept on saying, Mama, there is somebody, there was somebody at the gate. And I thought there was and now that person has gone. But actually the person was waiting downstairs. So there is should have come. Right? So that's why it is very important to form a correct sentence. And how do we form a correct sentence? By using the correct helping verbs. 
Now let's talk about the various types of helping verbs that we can use. The first comes the be family. Now in the be family, we can use the words is, am, are, was, were, be, being, been. Now in case, just imagine a sentence is given to you which says I dash, in the bracket it is written be, seven years old now you must be thinking ma'am how can i put b i be seven years old i being seven years old now whenever b is written it means that out of the ones helping words that i have given downstairs below b you can use any of those helping words so here what will come i am seven years old because the b family has is am are was were and be, being and been in it. So out of any of these words, you can use any. Understood? Now next we have the have family. In the have family, we have all the three words starting with H. First comes the has, then comes the have, and then comes in the end the had. Now has is basically used with singular nouns or pronouns. Raman has done his work or pronouns he has done his work she has done his work they are all singular right one now if I have to use have I will use they have done the work Raman and Raja have done the work plural have is used for plural but there is one exception now you the pronoun you thinks he is very special okay and he says I will not use has with me I want to use have so you is an exception he is special we use have with you you have done your work or have you done your work understood you is singular but with you we always use have and in your if you're talking in the past tense that means if you have already done something or you has already done something, we will write you were talking in the class. So that's the reason the teacher scolded you. You is singular, but with he takes plural helping verbs. Understood? In the past it takes were, in the present it takes have. Then we have had. Now beta had is used when we have already finished our work. Whatever action you are doing, you have already done that work. For example, you had been talking in the class. That's the reason the teacher scolded you. That means at that time the child had been talking. He was already, now that topic is finished. Talking is done, so the teacher, they are talking. Now, now they are talking about an event which has already passed. That's why had. Had means work is over and done. I had my lunch at 3 o'clock yesterday that means yesterday the time has gone that's why I said had and had is always used for past past means something which has already gone the time has gone for example today is Wednesday and Tuesday is in past okay now next we have the do family now do and does these two words are used in the present okay do your work okay this way and did is used in the past tense did did you do your work okay like this we use did is used in the past tense whereas do and does are used in the present tense next comes the can family now these are all helping verbs and you should know so that you will be able to know okay fine that's the reason we have divided into various families so that you can remember have family has has have had be family has is am are was were be being been so that in case you come across these helping verbs while doing your exercise you are not unaware you know okay these are helping verbs let's go to can now now the can family has two one is can and the other one is could what did i say one is can and the other one is could 
now can is you can do this work possibility okay when you tell them okay fine you can do this work okay and could is basically the past tense of can okay could is basically the past tense of can but at times could is also used in present tense also okay you have to see whether it will come or no you have to read the sentence only then with practice only you will come to know the difference where to use can and where to use could fine okay at times we say na when somebody is saying could you please do this work mostly it is when we are requesting somebody could you please finish my homework or could you please help me in doing my work okay can is you can go there you can when you are giving permission okay fine you do this then we use can and could is in a way opposite of that when we are telling somebody requesting somebody that please help us that way okay now let's move on to the next family the next is the shall family okay shall has only two words one is shall himself and the other one is the should now beta shall is used with i and we these are the two words with which you you will use shall and shall for example i shall go to my friend's birthday party tomorrow night okay we shall make a cake for his birthday i shall is always used with i and we okay and should should is when we are giving somebody advice you should have done your work you should brush your teeth when your parents are giving you advice or your teachers are giving you advice what do we use we use should okay now you have to remember this minor minor difference can is when you are telling okay fine you do this you can go to the party your parents are telling you you can wear this dress okay when you giving permission for something could is when we are requesting somebody for help you could help me in finishing my work please i have to go to the party okay and shall is it is used with only two words i and we okay wherever i and we is there an option of shall and should is given you have to use shall okay and when we are talking about should should is used by elders when they giving advice like your teachers give you advice you should have done it you should not talk in the class these are all your sentences of should okay when we are giving advice mostly when you give advice it is not elders only when you give advice to your friends also you should not talk to her she is a very bad girl understood next comes will now will also has two words in it in its family one is will and the other one is would okay now will is used in the future tense where do we use will will is used in the future tense and will is basically used with words like you he she it they okay you will finish your work by monday future tense okay when you giving somebody time uh, you will go with me to the market in the evening future tense understood where do we use when something is about to happen the action has not been done but we will be doing that action later okay there we use will understood now would is sometimes used as the past tense of will sometimes it is not 100% same way that the way i told you about can and could similar manner would is also sometimes used for will in the past tense but mostly at times we use would for present tense also that is when you practice for the sentences it will become clear okay now let's see what is the instruction giving given at the end helping verbs also tell whether an action is done in the present past or future as i told you earlier we change our helping verbs according to our requirement if i am telling you something which was done in the past so i will use was were had okay if i'm talking about the present i will use is am are right has have if i'm talking about something which will happen your exam will be conducted in september so what did i use i used will okay and shall where are we using we are using it for i and we okay